Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to this I know, very early morning live stream. Um, I forgot to, because at the time I didn't know that this gas mask had a normalized foot. So on here I'll show it. <coughs> and I actually wore that out in public um, last night. And I will tell you the reaction I got. But um, I, I noticed that all on the video, they had two thumbs down, which um, for the amount of subscribers that I have is um, is kind of, I um, find it quite curious. Um, so I will show that this thing has a normalized thread. This is a Russian GP5. Now, a uh, filter, sorry. Uh, there is the handwriting. Cases, some of you think I'm lying for some reason. Okay, now this is the filter I wear with it. Now, this is a expired uh, Nosh filter. I just took the label off because it's black and the mask is black. So I thought it would be cool. Uh, this is my COVID filter because the particulate filter has never been used and some of the charcoal in there is still good. The filter is completely intact. This will protect me from any viral or bacterial um, um, outbreak. Now, I'm planning on buying new filters, of course. But anyways, uh, so here we go. See, it's it's screws in just nice. Now, here's... The Russian filter. If I can line this up right. This gas mask has a normalized thread. Now, I'm not sure if, if, the, if the regular M2, like the one that's not... Uh, with the voice diaphragm. I wonder if that also has a normalized uh, threading to it as well. So if you buy this mask, know that that you can buy modern Russian in-date filters, which I plan on in time buying a few for mere safety. Um, and since this thing has a normalized thread, you know, you can buy both NATO and Gauss. Well, the only nation that still uses Gauss is Russia. So buy, you know, Russian filters. And so I wore this out in public last night. And actually, this, this guy thought it was cool. Apparently, uh, they, they had a guy in there at times. I personally never saw it. A guy who walked into the store with uh, a hazmat suit and a full-on respirator. Only if, if I saw that, though. I am planning on buying a Russian L1 hazmat suit for, for, for the potential of, you know, nuclear or, it, you know, when COVID actually does get bad and it mutates and it, you know, goes through, goes through the skin if, if that happens. Uh, so yeah, I will be buying that suit with my income tax as well. And I will be showing that here on the, um, channel and on my main channel. So yeah, that, that was more features of the mask. Um, since I have better lighting here, here's the inside of the mask again. It's, it's nasal cup system is quite genius actually. Um, it, it goes all the way around, and then at the end, it has the uh, the exhale type of thing. You know? uh, so when, when you breathe in and breathe out, it decreases the amount of fog. Well, not fog, but uh, you you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, so that is the mask. Uh, with more information on it. So, I hope you guys enjoy this live stream. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Um, <clears throat>
this mask, I, I, I do say myself, is really high high grade quality rubber. If I ever, you know, become president or, or a nation, I will do say I, I will say this. I I would definitely make this my standard gas mask. I would just modify it by putting two filter ports on it. You know, so if you're right or left handed. Uh and then putting the drinking tube somewhere else on the mask. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you on the next one. God bless and uh, have a good.